uh, we are here. All of these contacts are tankers at anchor. Tanker at anchor. And uh, yeah, the just south of uh, Trafalgar Bank seems to be like a, a, a tanker sleepover. And I think I'm going to have to go inside them because there's lots of traffic outside them in the traffic lanes. If, there, you see? <laughs> so I don't really want to mix it here. And so i got to go in here. Of course, the problem we're going in here is that that there, that's a, a lighthouse because that's land. That is the Cape uh, Trafalgar lighthouse. Yeah, so this is the tanker sleepover just south of Trafalgar. And it's fucking scary. Well, if this isn't great, and now I'm a sailing vessel. So it's a slightly different call of song. It's the one long blast followed by two short blasts. <laughs> looks reasonably good in front of me listening on the radio I think there's been a collision in the Tarifa TSS find out shortly find out shortly all sorts of screaming and turn to the board turn to the board why did you do that so mm. that's all over there somewhere and I'm going over there somewhere, eventually. All right, let's give her a song. <laughs> Play that like a trumpet. Spain. That's the first sighting of Spain. It's morning. Paloma Point is that one right there. Paloma Point. And we are just uh, jibing our way towards Tarifa. Wind is variable light. I think it's about five knots now. Been up to about seven this morning which is uh, when I started sailing, yeah, it's five and a half now, indicated five and a half. So we're just mooching along at about two knots through the water. But because uh, the reason I came this close to land is because the current's in our favor up here for the next two and a half hours, probably. <coughs> and that's uh, given us a speed over the ground of three and a half knots. So we've got a, a, a knot worth of current taking us in the right direction. and. Uh, it seems like the currents going through the straits are a little bit tricky and uh, from what I could work out from the descriptions I get uh, I get a bit of plus and a bit of minus here whereas if I'm out in the more central I just get uh, a lot of minus and then some nothing so better to be here for the plus and I've managed to time it although I didn't try and time it I was trying to go as fast as I could but uh, it's worked out that uh, I'm getting a bit of a push here. We're making 3.8 through the water, but because of the current, we're making 6.2 over the ground, which is pretty damn good. Yeah, 6.5 there. And what's even more pleasant, oh, boat speed's up to four knots now, that's good. Ah, wind's gone up to seven and a half. What's even better is that they're motoring over there. See, no sails, they've just got their engine on. I'm going faster with my sail in my 1960s designed boat. That's not a 1960s sail though. So, shut up. So this is quite fun, I'm enjoying this. I'm racing them. That's the lighthouse at Tarifa. That's my current waypoint. The next waypoint, Cabo de Gado. Uh, which is a mere, what was it, 178 nautical miles. 
So, yeah, that's another mouthful yeah. of the elephant. Getting set to throw in a quick jibe. A monster. Leviathan. Any minute now he's going to hit the throttles and fly on by. My IAS thinks that we're on a collision course. And at the moment I have to say I agree. Jesus, he's even turning towards me now. Gonna eat me up. I'm making six and a half knots, mind. That's a grumble. Oh, it's really nice. He's waiting for me to get out of the way before he. <laughs> Before he floors it. Oh, I think he's hit it now. Yeah, look at the look at the turbulence out the back. Try this jibe again. We're going downwind at 160 degrees in 13 to 14 knots. I am very familiar with from both my military days and from sailing and I'll be back there later this year to do a sailing course I'm going to learn how to be a coastal skipper mm. well you know you got to get the ticks in the box the worms have gone again <laughs> it's the string <laughs> shoot it shoot it with your gun shoot with a gun that's what the bullets are for, you twit! Uh, hang on, let me clean this for you. <laughs> there, that's better. All right, so over there, Marbella, or Marbella, depending if you eat paella or paella. Uh, yeah, so there's all kinds of shenanigans going on over there, or at least there was when I was a young lad in Marbella. Next, Fuengarola. <laughs> <laughs> then Malaga none of which we're going to stop at <laughs> none of which we're planning to stop at but as you can see we're in um, uh, no country for old men territory again it's not quite Biscay or the North Atlantic but uh, I've actually been pushed around as much by these smaller waves uh, as I was or at least as I can remember being in, uh, in the bigger waves of the oceans. It's kind of, you know, yet again, it's just a little too strong, the wind, for comfortable, fun time sailing. But we're making reasonable progress in roughly the right direction. So, no, well, you know, we're kind of going in almost every direction, but it averages out. Uh, yeah, so mustn't grumble So For the first time I'm actually chickening chickening out of the weather of the wind I Need a little bit of comfort Having had no sleep last night and uh, I've had about 10 minutes today so uh, It's really time to uh, Put comfort ahead of speed and here we can see this is a very nice app called Windy 
and uh, that's the current time local time 2200 and you can see the orange is the high winds very high winds the green is the 10 to 15 knots which is lovely orange is 15 20 25 we're currently in 23 knots average and uh, it's rolly as hell and I need a break so we're heading in to towards the green area I'm going to run up the coast here from Fringa Fuengarola towards but not to Malaga as the wind turns I'll turn with it and just doof around the coast there and as you see as the time moves on it stays roughly and that's one o'clock three o'clock there's always a greener area until in the morning it's actually going to get luxurious around three o'clock so then the wind's going to die back quite a lot and I'm hoping to be somewhere around about here